morning to family. This is your boy Delight. Uh, just coming with you with the story regarding Simone Biles. And she explains why she left the Olympic team finals. So, right here is what she talks about, you know, the stress and, you know, her mental health and everything. And I respect her on that. Because we got to realize sometimes we have to take a break and sometimes we have to slow down. Even in social media, you know, you got to take a break from time to time, you know, and, and collect yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, you know, and in all aspects. Because of the fact is, when you overdo yourself and you become overwhelmed in things, and yes, it will take effect on your mental capacity sometimes. Sometimes you get emotionally overwhelmed and sometimes you have a breakdown and then there's even times that, you know, people try to impress the public so, so, so much. They even, you know, even drive them to the point of even um, a suicide spirit. So you have to be careful and take time for you. It's okay. It's okay. And right here, her team members seem to be understanding because they understand her, they see her, they know what she's capable of doing, they know the type of person that she is, and if she just does this, then there's obviously a reason for it. So let's um, check this video um, out and, um, you know, and you give your opinion on it. But like I said, can't beat up on this girl for doing, for looking out for her mental health because of the fact that, you know, she's actually don't want to affect her team. Let's hear what she had to say. I just felt like it would be a little bit better to take a back seat, uh, work on my mindfulness, and I knew that the girls would do an absolutely great job, and I didn't want to risk the team a medal for uh, kind of my screw-ups because they've worked way too hard for that. So I was trying at two and a half, and I ended up doing a one and a half, just got a little bit lost in the air, um, which is really unfortunate, especially to have a score like that go up there for the team. Um, I feel like I robbed them of a couple of tens and we could have been a little bit higher in the rankings. I was like, um, I think the girls need to do the rest of the competition without me and they were like, I promise you you're fine, we watched you warm up and I said, no, I know I'm going to be fine but I can't risk a medal for the team so I need to call it and um, you usually don't hear me say things like that because I'll usually persevere and push through things but not to cost the team a medal so they were like, okay. Well, if Simone says this, then we need to take it pretty serious. And so um, I had the correct people around me to do that. It's very hard to lose a teammate, especially at the Olympic Games. So I was really proud of all of us because we were going through so much. We were very stressed, put a lot of pressure on ourselves, but we ended up coming back. We're fighters. We fought through this whole competition as a team and not as individuals, and that's what we needed. And like Sunny was saying, at the end of the day, like, no matter what happened, we were just proud that we were able to do what we were doing with, with losing somebody that's so great. It's been really stressful, this Olympic Games, I think, just as a whole, um, not having an audience. There are a lot of different variables going into it. It's been a long week. It's been a long Olympic process. It's been a long year. Um, so just a lot of different variables, and I think we're just a little bit too stressed out. Um, but we should be out here having fun, and sometimes that's not the case. I say um, put mental health first because if you don't, then you're not going to enjoy your sport and you're not going to succeed as much as you want to. So it's okay sometimes to even sit out the big competitions to focus on yourself because it shows how strong of a competitor and person that you really are. Now, with that being said, I respect her. I respect her on that. I mean, you got to take some time out. You got to. I mean, like I said, it'll take a toll on you. And she didn't want to affect her teammates and her teammates they're 100 percent behind her and i and i honored them for that too and they stepped up the kit to the game they stepped up the game and they got the um you know the silver and like i said i'm proud of them at that but like i said i could really really respect her on that because of the fact is she didn't want to be a hindrance to her team she didn't want to make it look bad she didn't want them to be affected by it so 
like I said, there's a lot to think about in this, you know. And like I said, some people, you know, you know, they want to, you know, bash her for her decision. No, but her these teammates, they were 100% behind her. And um, they also stepped up to the plate. So, and like she said, it is important to put your mental health first, to put your mental health, you know, um, you know ahead of you because the fact is if you can't focus mentally and you can't do it then you can't accomplish what you you know set out to do because you not your mind and your heart is not into it like like she said you know um, she wants to be into it she don't wants to be a hindrance so she rooted it but one thing I can say the team members team member it's a team effort it's not just only Simone but it's all of them they all work together and they understood and they came you know forth and they, you know, you know, reached the uh, gold still. They got, you know, still the U.S. Um, on the map still, you know, in the Olympics. Now, she shouldn't be penalized or anything for that. But, you know, like I said, you know, people need to take a break from a stressful event. I mean, like she said, it's been a stressful year. It's been stressful months, stressful week, you know. And, um when you become overwhelmed like that you still then that's when you gotta like take time out for yourself because God designed us to do so we only can do so much and God only knows as much as what we can bear when he tells you to you know sit down then you know you gotta sit down and chill you know sometimes we want to be the go-getters you know sometimes we want to you know press and keep pressing and keep pressing and wanting to please you know the people and everything and we want to do things to you know um to you know try to you know keep everybody you know um amused and, and so on but the thing about it is there's a time you have to sit out for you a time that you have to take a break a time that you have to you know sit down and reflect on yourself nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all it's not abandoning you know she's not abandoning anything and that don't make her a less of a person because she still is a darn good gymnastic I mean she is good at what she do and she's the goat still I don't care what people say if they want to criticize her for her decision oh well you know that's just the bottom line she has her right to do so and like I said don't nobody can tell you what to do and how to take care of yourself and like I said if you're not in the full function mental state then you're not going to be effective and she didn't want to affect her team in that way much respect to Simone Biles for real for real for real and God bless her and God bless the team and he's going to give them, hey, the strength to do what they have to do. And he has given them the strength to do what they have to do. But with that being said, put your comments at the bottom. Like, share, and subscribe. And with something to think about, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. So let's make it a great day. God bless you. And peace. <music>